Let's start with this problem. Using the assumed mean as 4, calculate the mean and the median of the data below. Is that okay? Now, if they give us the assumed mean student, we use the formula mean is equal to assumed mean plus summation of frequency times the deviation divided by the summation of what? Frequency. Now, what is a frequency? A frequency represents the number of times a sample has repeated its self. Is that okay? And the deviation, D, is the difference between a sample and the assumed mean. Therefore, D is equal to X minus A. Now, we shall use that information to complete our frequency distributioning table. Now, when our sample is 1, that is x is equal to 1, we need to get the frequency. Is that okay? Therefore, 1 has repeated 1, 2, 3. So, 1 has repeated 3 times in our data. Now, when the sample is 2, let us get the frequency. 2 has repeated 1, 2. Is that okay? When the sample is 3, we need to generate the frequency, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, 3 has appeared 5 times. When the sample is 4, let us find the frequency 1, 2. Therefore, 4 has repeated 2 times. When the sample is 5, 5 has appeared 1, 2, 3. Is that okay? And when the sample is 6, its frequency is what? 1. Because it is only 1 in the sample. Therefore, we shall say that the frequency is what? 1. Remember, we need to calculate the sum of the what? Frequencies. Therefore, we shall get 3 plus 2, that is 5. 5 plus 5, that is 10. 10 plus 2, 12 plus 3, 15, then plus 1, that is a what? A 16. Is that okay? Now we need to calculate the deviation, and our deviation 1 will be equal to, the sample is 1, and the assumed mean is 4, therefore the deviation is negative what? 3. The second sample is 2, and assumed mean is 4, therefore the deviation is negative what? 2. The sample is 3, the deviation is negative 1. The sample is 4, the deviation is 0. The sample is 5, therefore it's 5 minus 4, which is 1. The sample is 6, therefore the deviation is 6 minus 4, which is a 2. In the formula, we need frequency times the deviation. Therefore, we shall multiply Frequency times the deviation. Is that okay? 3 times negative 3, we shall get a negative 9. 2 times negative 2, that is a negative what? 4. 5 times negative 1, that is a negative what? 5. 2 times a 0, that is a 0. 3 times 1, that is a 3. 1 times 2, that is a what? A 2. Now, in the formula, we have summation of the frequencies times the deviation. Also, we shall find the summation of frequencies and the deviation. Let us get our calculators and we find the summation of frequency and the deviations. Therefore, the, the summation of frequency times the deviation is negative 13. Is that okay? Now, we shall come and say our mean is equal to, the assumed mean is 4, plus negative 13 out of a 16. Therefore, this is 4 minus 0 0.8125.
and the mean is equal to 3.187 watt 5 is that okay now we want to calculate the median and it is known that the median is the middle watt number therefore we need to calculate the cumulative frequency now when the frequency is 3 we shall add a 2 which is 3 plus 2 that is a 5 5 plus 5 that is a 10 10 plus 2 that is 12 plus 3 15 1 that is 16 is that okay and our n we shall say that is 60 16 now if we want to calculate the median student from the formula we have two formulae one median is equal to n plus one out of two that is the position and we need the value in that position and this works when n is an odd number is that okay but when n is uneven we use a formula m is equal to n out of 2 that is the position but we need the value in that position plus n out of 2 plus 1 that is the position and we need the value in that position everything divide by what a 2 is that okay now we say that n out of 2 it is just 16 out of what a 2 but we need the value plus 16 out of 2 plus 1 we need the what the value everything shall be divided by 2 therefore the median is this is 8 so we need the value in the eighth position plus uh, 16 divided by 2 that is 8 plus 1 we need the value in the ninth what position and everything shall be divided by a 2 is that okay now where do we find these values or these positions these positions are found along with the column of the cumulative frequencies is that okay a, the eighth value or the eighth position is found along the cumulative what frequency now if we look at the cumulative frequency where does eighth position lie that position lies between the fifth and the tenth is that okay therefore in between here we have the eighth position but we can't identify it therefore we are going to take the position above 8 is that okay and that is 10 after getting this 10 we shall get the value of x that corresponds to that cumulative what frequency and that value is 3 so the eighth value on the cumulative frequency it is estimated to be what a 3 plus we also need the ninth value and that ninth value is found along the cumulative what frequency so the position of that value is going to be obtained using the cumulative frequency check do we have the ninth position on our cumulative frequency no but nine lies between five and ten therefore we shall take a number above nine and that is a what a ten is that okay we shall find the value of x that corresponds to that cumulative frequency and that value is a 3 divided by 2 therefore it is 6 divided by 2 and the median is 3 uh, student please um, we have to do an assignment to prove whether we've understood the what the concept and the assignment is below Make sure that you submit your answer in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button for more about math. Goodbye.